So here's the stuff I found in April and May. I've kind of cherry picked a little bit here, tried to get it down to the best stuff. Uh, there are some times that I may have forgotten and showed something that I found in uh, March. Hopefully there's not too much of that. Uh, I think maybe that big piece of brass right there might have been in March. But uh, I think everything else was April or May. Uh, let's just get started here. Uh, right in this back corner we have neat little bottles and such that I found. Uh, this is an inkwell, which is pretty cool. Uh, I was digging an old dump to find these. Here's a cork bottle. It says, uh, this contains Stuart Bluing. It's got the actual cork inside it. But uh, you get those old Heinz 57 lids, and they, they fit real nicely on some of these old bottles. So they don't actually belong there, but they look neat. Uh, and some of them are really tiny. Uh, anyway, some odd doodads, I guess you'd say, here. Uh, pieces of something. Uh, a couple of watches. Uh, they, they are in terrible, terrible condition. A uh, few keys of varying condition and age. Uh, some marbles. Now these two here are actually clay, which is kind of rare. And we'll, we'll get to this stuff in the middle here in just a minute. But uh, this is kind of fun. An old police whistle. Uh, it's actually plated in nickel. And it had the P in it, but it was kind of rotted out, so I had to replace that. <laughs> it, it does have a new P that I made out of cork in it. But uh, anyway, here's a 50 caliber. <laughs> now I found the, uh, the shot and the brass in the same rough area. And then I was just able to clean those up real nice and put them together. That goes on my display shelf. Uh, these are interesting. This is a Similac formula scoop. Now, I didn't even know that these were ever made in metal. Uh, they are made in aluminum prior to probably me being born. Because uh, I've always known them as plastic. But, uh, oh, look at this. A $10,000 demand note. Uh, not negotiable. Centennial issue. $10,000. That was very exciting to find that. I, I don't think it's worth anything. But uh, found a couple beaver tails. A uh, couple old quarters. Uh, found this under the uh, stove. I had to move the stove. And I don't know that they make Michelob Amberbach anymore. That looks just like the day it was dropped, probably. Uh, dimes, nickels, pennies. Uh, these are the zinc pennies. These are the copper ones. We'll get to the stuff in the middle a little later. That's kind of my favorite stuff. Uh, here's a little tiny chain. Uh, that's probably the, the tiniest sterling silver chain I've ever seen. Just a little bitty guy. Uh, here is a ruler, a metalsmith's ruler. Uh, it's in kind of rough shape. It's been lost for a long time. Uh, some old brass. This is kind of fun. So I found this guy here. It's a watch case. And then I went back to that same spot and I found the other piece to it. It uh, doesn't quite fit together, but you get the idea. Uh, here's a spoon that looked really good at first. Silver plated. Uh, almost broke it getting it out of the ground. So that's a repair job there. But uh, yeah, it's still a nice silver plated. And it says something or other silver on the back of it. Kind of funny. Uh couple of buckles these these cleaned up real nicely these were these were just crusted uh, same with this little brass earring now I know that that's brass and that's brass 
this here I think might be silver but uh, I just got my test kit and I forgot to test that one uh, here's some ore uh, these here have you can see a little bit of this is silver and a little bit of gold in them see there so that's kind of fun uh, another rock that's a piece of chert probably uh, here's a piece of what I thought was like a jewelry and I tested it and it tested out 50% silver which I didn't think they made anything half silver but well they did uh, up here we have and I'm just kind of skipping around here uh, a whole big pile of lead a big chunk of copper a knife and some steel pieces that I'm going to turn into knives. Uh, this is kind of fun right here. So uh, I've got this here piece of glass and a couple of buttons and a marble. This is a black light. Now this just really shines under the black light. And that kind of shines and that really shines. Look at this. Kind of fun. Uh, so this here is an ox shoe, and there's a piece of uh, bismuth coal. Uh, here's a hot point logo from a stove or something, and there's a little button and a glasses frame. Up here, I've got five files that I found and I'm going to turn them into different knives. Here is a meat thermometer that works. That that was found in town. Uh, these are kind of fun right here. So I found not one but two Arizona chauffeur's badges in the same hole. They're in real good shape. They even got the backs on them. And uh, those are from the 30s. Here is uh, Chevy company something or other uh, Now 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 for the toys uh, These are cast iron. There's a little airplane a little horse and a little part of a gun Those are fun to find uh, Here's just a regular old dice, but it's been around for a bit Here is a little compact case uh, this was uh, cosmetic that was held in there long time ago and uh, it it opens but it's hard to get back closed okay some of the funnest stuff now uh, a couple of thimbles they're just normal thimbles this piece says uh, gold filled and that's just how it came out of the ground right there uh, this here is a nice big chunk of spoon uh, Illinois with Lincoln on it and it's got his house and the Congress uh, that weighs 0 0.7 uh, 7 tenths of an ounce that's like uh, 17 grams this I found right by that and it's super fun uh, special police number 214 city and county of Denver and it's got the back on it uh, I thought that was super neat. Uh, also in that same area, police brace. Now this is a, a strap for a over not overalls, uh, suspenders. But it, I think it's got the officer's name. I think his name was Brace, but I could be wrong. Uh, I found the tiniest little smiley face. Now this actually pins on so yeah a little, little smiley face I thought that was funny uh, here's some jewelries that I found a uh, little old made in Mexico silver earring of a uh, seahorse this one's silver with uh, quartz yeah, that's part of an earring as well 
here's part of an earring here is uh, now I really tried to clean this up super crusted it was off, obviously meant to pin on to clothing and very faintly there I see a B and an F and a, it might be a second F hard to tell but yeah there's a B right in there so I don't know if it's BFF or initials uh, these I'm told are uh, valve stems from uh, Model T and here I found a couple of tokens uh, this one uh, too far gone to really tell what it is this one is play money one play money uh, Utah tax token an Arizona tax token uh, a good friend of mine found this and gave it to me it's good for two packs of cigarettes ginger so I did not find that but my friend found it I was with him when he found it he gave it to me uh, couple of real nice little Native American bracelet pieces here and uh, I tried to re recreate this I tried to cast that from that piece and I came up with this uh, it's not the best version I probably have to redo that uh, mercury dime some wheat pennies the oldest one that one's 1918D. This one I think said 1909, but it's so far gone it's hard to tell. Really just kind of trashed, so pretty much worthless. Uh, this is a referee watch. Referee brand watch. You can still make out the numbers on it, kind of. Uh, some real old pinfire brass and uh, oh this is fun too this is a boy scout bobcat cubs bsa and it's still got the back i love finding stuff where they were pinned on and they still have that ability so uh i've always wanted to find a uh, uh stirrup not not a stirrup a uh, spur well I found one it's just a toy it's aluminum and this is a headless Scotty dog uh, it's too big to be the monopoly piece so I think that was just some other display and then this might have been in March or it might have been April but this is uh, sterling and the diamond it's a real diamond it's called an old miner old miners cut so it's a little different looking thing as you can see there really old it's got some side stones too that I think are uh, not citrine uh, peridot so anyway that's what I found in April and May we're into June now so I won't find nearly this much and it's a pity that I waited two months on the video but I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you see something you want to know a little bit more about, uh, ask me in the comments. If there's something I misidentified, please leave a comment. And uh, anyway, if you found something like this, I'd love to hear about it. Tell me. And we'll see you next time.